excel in everything. Why? It's because they're clean slate. They don't have bad habits. Right? Yes, sir. So, same thing with you. If you have a habit that's not positive for you, how you wanna fix it? How you wanna make it better for yourself? You know whether that's good or bad. You know it now. It's like sometimes when I send kids, even three-year-old, they play around too much, I put them on a bench. They know what they did. I don't have to explain to them when I get them back in class. I said, get back in. They know exactly what happened. They know why they sit on the bench. They know what they got to do what? Fix it. And next time it happened, I said, one, two, either they'll go to the bench or they'll what? The they'll stop. Right? Sure. So when they stop, means what? They're learning. If they don't stop, they need a little more reinforcement. They're going to sit on the bench. And after a while, what's going to happen? They don't want to sit on the bench. They're going to push themselves a little more. They need to improve more. So same thing with you. Why do you do what you do? Is it benefiting you? Is it benefiting others? Seven habits. Win-win. Everybody benefits. Right? By you working hard, your parents are going to benefit. Right? We don't think about the parents benefiting. You think about only you benefiting. Oh, this mom and daddy, but I did a good job. Right? Absolutely you did. But there's the other side of the coin, which is your mom and daddy is less stressed because they don't have to constantly tell you, bug you to do the things. So they have less headache. So they can focus on other things to help you even better. So we're working on productive stuff to make you get to where you need to go. So why do you do what you do? Is it benefiting you and others around you? If it is, you're doing great. If it's not, you have to reevaluate. What can I do to improve me? When you prove you, everything's going to be elevated. So think, when you do something, why am I doing this? Is it only helping me? Bless you. Is it going to help me get better? Is it going to help me get wiser, smarter? Is it going to be building a better foundation for me? So sometimes, what do you push around in school? Some kids, they don't say nothing. Why do you do what you do? I was scared. Which way? I was scared about getting hurt? Or is it I was scared that I'm going to get in trouble, that I'm going to get suspended, that I'm going to have bad grades, and then my mom and dad are going to be upset? There's a different reasons. So you have to think, if I protect myself, somebody push me, and then I'm trying to hit him, and he punch me, right? Number one, defend myself. And then you defend yourself. Tell the teacher what happened. You come and tell mom and daddy what happened. Do you think your parents are going to get upset for you to protect yourself when somebody trying to what? hit you, hurt you, and then you're defending yourself, right? Yes, Do you think your parents are going to get upset? Yes, sir. Then you got school rule says what? No fighting. So you're going to get suspended anybody, right? <clears throat> it's the rule. You take the first one. Because it's the rule, right? We're not going to take the second one. Because why? You gotta set the standard. <clears throat> Other kid pushed me, they're trying to hurt me, I defended myself. Like I said, tell your mom and dad. <clears throat> and then they all contact the school. And as I said before, you need to have paper trail. You need to get that written down, okay? You gotta have a proof. 
that's going to protect you. Next time something happens, bang, you protect yourself. Other kids going to get suspended. You will not. He goes, why? There's a proof. There's a paper trail. Right? So it's not about just fighting. It's about also even helping somebody. So when you go to schools, do you see some kids that have anxiety in school these days? Anybody see? They're kind of hidden. They're kind of quiet. They don't say anything. Right? How are you helping other person? Right? I'm not saying help everybody, but if you have to see somebody, if you have to see the opportunity, just extend the hand. Just, hey, how you doing? My name is so-and-so. What's your name? Nice to meet you. That's it. If I can help you, if you need a buddy, I'm here. Just extend that hand a little bit. By you saying hello to somebody, by giving the name of your friend that has anxiety, by you saying that, he might bring their day up, they might get confidence because of you. He might change their, he might change their life. They don't know what's gonna happen. But because you said it, because you offer, because you are nice, <clears throat> there's a hope for another kid. Somebody's gotta start it. Do you wanna go to school where everybody has anxiety? Nobody talk to each other? Everybody's like this, scared? But you know what's going to happen, right? Bullets are going to take over. They're going to take over the school. They're going to push everybody right around. They're the king. They're the queen. Boom. Yeah, nobody messes with it. You! Ah! You see? Good kids got to help the kids. Good kids got to help other kids rise up. When it happens, it's the numbers. You get a little twig. One, you can break it easy. You get a 10 twig trying to break it, what happens? You can't break it. Oh, you can't do it. So it's in the numbers. When the good kids step up, when good kids back each other up, then what's going to happen? Bullies. is going to back down. More of this happens, they're going to back down. And then you're helping your community. And then it's going to be better learning environment for who? Yeah. Everybody. Some kids' anxiety, what happened? They're screaming in the class. Ah! Right? Anybody heard somebody screaming in class? Disturbed? So what's happening? So that one person, it's like a clear water. When you get a pristine water, mm -hmm. you drop one little itty bitty dot of the color, you drop it in there. Mm -hmm. What happened to the water? Jesus. It's not pristine anymore. The one little itty bitty micro dot you drop, he changed the water now. Another one, boom, he changed it more. Right? So it's affecting everybody's learning. Because what teacher trying to teach, some kids scream, teacher get what? Distracted, they have to deal with the situation. So either they have to calm it down, or what they have to do? Send it to the principal's office. They don't want to go, they scream more. Now what? You lost half a day or half a class. So you might go to school one year, you lose half. How much are you really learning? Half. No, you're losing more than a half. You think you're losing half. You're losing a lot more. You understand? That's where the math comes in. You're losing a lot more. So that's why you have to take it up on yourself to extra what? Learn. That's why you have to do the homework. Homework is about you understanding the material so you can proceed to the next level. You cannot just rely on the classroom. You gotta go beyond. You gotta be motivated to become the best. You have to do that your work. You have to wanna do it. Why do you do what you do? Are you gonna get to where you need to go? You gotta take care of it now. Don't wait till later. When you wait too long, what's gonna set in? Regret. What's gonna set in? Regret. Regret. I should have listened to mom and daddy. I should have studied a little more. I should have focused a little better. I should have done extra work. I should have, could have, would have, but it's too late now. 
Now what's going to happen? It's going to delay where you need to go. You have 12 years to graduate high school. What are you going to do after high school? Some people want to go to college. Some people want to go to technical school. Some people want to join military. Some people find a good job that I'm just going to work. Everybody got different ways of getting to where you need to go. But if you get delayed here, get the basics not right, it's going to delay there. How long is it going to delay to? It's supposed to be 18. It's going to delay 22, 30, 35, 40, 50. Right? How much is it going to delay you? And then as you get delayed more, when the regress set in, then what happened, what's the next thing set in? Confidence issue. Oh, I'm too old to do this. Oh, I'm too da da da. Now we're making what? More excuses for what? Justify what you did. Instead of what? Making that confident decision. No matter what happens, I'm gonna suck it up, I'm gonna work hard. I'm going to get this done in two years. I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to move on. Choice is yours. Mom and dad can only push you so far. I can only push you so far. Mom and dad can put food on the table. Put on your plate. Say, eat it. You eat it, you go back and spit it up. Mom and dad can only do so much. Right? So it's a half and half. If they give you half, you gotta take the other half and gotta run with it. So same for the class. If you're better than somebody, you win half, you gotta let the other person win half. You gotta help them get confidence. Let them learn something so they gotta grow up to match your level. When you become your level, then what? Nice fair game. Right? You gotta make the playing field fair. So if you win half, other person's gotta win half. You gotta help them. By helping them, you're gonna learn even more. Students learn one thing. Teachers learn two or three things. Because as they help you, you see things differently. Oh, what if? Oh, I didn't see that. I can do it this way. So you learn more when you help somebody. It reinforces you. And then teachers teach her on you more. Because what? They gotta help the teacher, they help the student more, so they have to see more signs than the teacher does. So teachers still gotta be what? Extend their learning. They have to constantly grow. And somebody's gotta what? Teach the teacher to become a what? Better teacher so the student can be what? Better student. See? It snowballs. So, how do you do what you do? What are you going to do about it? Fix it. Are you improving on it? You have to have a checklist. You have to check. So you have to have daily check, hourly check, weekly check, monthly check, yearly check. Mom and dad have a budget. They have to check. Companies have what? Budget. They have to check. They have to check whether it's going to the right place. If it doesn't go to the right place, what's going to happen? One day, you're going to wake up and say, Oh my God, what happened? I'm in a deep trouble. How did I get here? Because you forgot to check. It's like you cut. You don't clean it. You leave it. Oh, it's a minor wound. It's okay. It gets redder, itchier. Ah, you don't get better, right? So now it's getting infected more. Ah, oh, you don't get me, okay. It's gonna spread. Once you pass out the point, it's just gonna poof. Now you got a big problem, right? So if you check earlier, if you saw a mistake, you fix it right away, it's easier. Less problem, less effort. It's a quicker way to fix, but you let us faster, it's going to get worse, it's going to get harder, it's going to get what? Longer to fix. Right? 
So everything is about you. Your parents want you to have a better life. Your parents want to be more successful. Your parents want to be happy. In order to make this happen, you have to check and balance. Something goes wrong, go oh, hide it. Communicate. When you talk, mom and dad know what to do. If you made a mistake, they know what to do to help you out. If you're doing good, they can contact you. That's a great job you did. But if you don't talk, they don't know. They don't know where to help. They don't know where to compliment. Same thing with the class. You gotta let me know. You gotta take a step, make that mistake, or do the great stuff. When you make a mistake, I know how to help you. I know how to guide you, push you. If you did great, say, hey, great job. That was awesome. You got it right. Then after what? Give you another idea. But when you don't move, I can't read your mind. You have to communicate. Communicate with mom and dad. Communicate with your best friends. Communicate with me. You got to make sure that communication, when they give you advice, is it sound? Is it working? Mom and daddy always going to give you the best advice. I'm going to be trying to give you the best advice. For your friends, you have to tell what they're saying. Okay? Sir. You know what they say, blood is thicker than water. They're going to give you the best advice. Sometimes friend by you have to double check. Not because you don't trust them, but you want to double check make sure it's heading towards the right direction. Right? Sometimes even the best friend, they want to then go to their side, they might say something, do something to what? Get their own advantage, and then you might trust them too much, and then the next thing they work out, and that's not gonna pick up. It's like, oh right? So when that happens, you might lose your best friend. But if you check and you communicate, you might still be your best friend because you communicate with each other. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you're tired, you're growing, your body's going through the changes, so you will be tired because your body's going through. That's part of life. Your parents are tired. They have to go to work, they have to take care of the household. Some parents, they got to go to you know, study more, they want to get a you know, better education, improve themselves. So they also, on top of everything else, they still got to learn. They're tired, but they still budget the time. They gotta do what they gotta do. Same thing with you. You're tired. Instead of getting irritated, they know what you can do. But they do time properly. What can you do a little faster, a little better, so it save more time? You need to have a little R and R. You need to have a little recreation. You need a little, not to think about school, not to think about anything else, it's pure fun. You need that. You need that for your mental health. You need that for your body health. When you have fun, the recreation, your hormone from your brain it sends a good hormone down. That was good. I feel good. Your energy changes. But when you do Something out there is upsetting you, is having bad hormones down. It doesn't make you feel good. So you have to see this. Body knows what to do. Body's going to give it. But it's you who get confused. So you send what? You send the bad energy? It's like that pristine water. You drop, cover, boom. You change. Another cover, boom. You're upset. You're mad. Is, is dripping by into that crispy water, it's changing, 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 right? You gotta keep that water what? Pristine as possible. It's your body. You gotta do things that's gonna what? Make you happier, grow stronger. Yes, you're gonna go through sometimes with disappointment, sometimes you're gonna get angry, sometimes you're gonna get sad. It's all right, it happens. So you have to filter that. You have to breathe. You want to be upset? Be upset. Don't drag it out though. Think about it. Can I let it go? Breathe. Let it go. 
If you get sad, understand. Be sad. Talk to mom and dad. Cleanse it. So much time. Gotta let it go. Gotta move forward. You can't change the past. But you can't change now and future. Is that what I said? So when you exercise, I'll push you. 